Okay, bumper fitment, try 12, huh? For sure. Good, good, good. Pump it in. Pump it in, pump it in. It's good, yeah? Yeah. Man. Oh, now, now. You didn't pump it in. That's one. Forgot to pump it in. There you go. Man, but we have to. We have to reinforce this. Probably. We gotta reinforce this. This, this, this <laughs> thing's gonna. You're gonna lose the bumper. Yeah, that's this may be an issue. You know, this will cut snow. Okay, so a little bit of uh, massaging required in this area, but other that part is still cut. That rail there. Uh, look, we got a much bigger gap here. We need to move the fender back. Try and push it back. Probably won't be able. Yeah, but then we lose the wheels, so we still need to massage it. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna have gapage either way. That's no, fine, whatever. Oh, hold on, maybe. I can live with that. Oh, oh the light popped out. Now. Okay, so here, push it, push it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, we're gonna be good. So we need to massage it a little bit here. Well, we should be so, yeah, we just need to bring this out a bit. And, uh, yeah, it's now looking like, like a car from this era instead of Mad Max era. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna have to do something about this area here because this is, this, we're, gonna just, we're just gonna lose this over first deep snow. Maybe weld something behind it. We'll see. And maybe work on this a bit. On these dents, I already did. So it doesn't rub on the fender, on the bumper. All right. What do we need? Passenger side? Uh, fender liner. We actually ordered the uh, fender liner from Luke did from Rock Auto and it was on back order. Yeah, they, they said, canceled it. They, they said they said they canceled. Yeah, it canceled out, so can't get it from there. Yeah, maybe they have it now, but I haven't checked it. So we're still gonna do rear shocks or struts. We have oil oils. We got mobile one for the rear diff and transmission. Transmission takes three and a half. Uh, the rear diff, I believe, takes one. Uh, we got a mobile one oil filter for the engine, and we're gonna use this semi synthetic uh, high mileage 530 for the winter. We're probably gonna switch to 1040 in the summer. Why semi synthetic? Well, I guess because it's a bit less expensive than synthetic, full synthetic, and a bit better than mineral oil. and we are most likely gonna do oil changes more often than not. You know, not go the typical 3000 or whatever you may do on your regular driving. We'll do a few events on the same oil and then change it. That's why. And then we're most likely gonna take the front seats out and clean the carpet because it still smells in there.
date got a problem spent you know some time gluing this together and as soon as we put it on this Yo. just broke look at broke it that, that was you no that was that was lucas <laughs> so anyways uh i'm just gonna leave it like that pretend it didn't happen i mean it holds you know one 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 screw is plenty it's better than none but more importantly, look at this shine. Spark plugs are changed, both sides. This one came off of uh, cylinder five, I think. This thing, the, whatever you call the, what do you call the, the bottom part of the, di not, not the diode. Uh, man, I forgot. Okay, well the little the little nipple, not the top, the bottom here, it's gone on this one. It's so worn out. And this one is good. So good thing we are changing those. And they are oily. You know, one of these days we are gonna change the the valve cover gaskets, the and the seals on the spark plugs. That's what's leaking. The seals, the inner the inside seals are only leaking not the actual valve cover gaskets so this is done still gotta do an oil change on the engine trans and diff we did a lot of work actually off camera it was kind of pointless recording it adjusting the fender the light the hood the, the bumper taking it off and on again and it would just uh, you know this is boring enough so we kind of skipped that step but right now we are pretty aligned more or less so this fender is not coming off anymore we did have to cut this again in the same exact area and move this part from here well from here back and we had a gap like this and i just filled it in with welds and now because of the light, because the light did not fit, this was in the way we could not fit the light all the way in to the fender. There are two clips on the inside there. Uh, you won't be able to see it. Anyways, yeah, it's it's all good now. Quick question. Did you put those two bolts behind the light? Behind the light? Yeah, there are two bolts. Oh, oh, we're going to have three bolts holding the light. No! So that's the bolt I'm forgetting. But of course, it's obviously it's not lined up. So we're gonna have to, you know, one of us will have to line it up, the other drive the screw in. So the actual, yeah, so two bolts will be plenty. Huh? They only hold, it's holding by the two clips on that bolt here. And this thing, which is... Well, this is not broken. I could just take this off and it would not yeah, affect sure. anything. So we might as well take this off because it's, you know, weight reduction. Or just for looks. No, we gotta glue the light. We gotta glue it back together. Man. You know, uh, you know what's going on behind the scenes over here? I gotta fight with uh, Luke's OCD because you know everything needs to be perfect, okay? Everything needs to be lined up. All the little bolts need to be the same. And then he's talking about uh, that we're gonna strip it. Shh! Don't go. Okay. Shh. shh. I can use my new tool. Wow. Okay. You know, we gotta we gotta do something about this. But this is where no no I'm just this is a hammer. Okay guys, never use this okay jumper jumper cable. Both lights? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Crank it. Stop! Pop it in here! Don't say in it? Yeah, you 
Ivo. So remember that uh, whining noise we had when we were test driving it? Well, Dr. Robert will uh, find that out now. All right. Pop it in. Yeah. Faster. Second idle in third gear. It's the transmission rear bearing, right where the drive shaft comes in, into the transmission. So the very last transmission bearing drive shaft coming in right there. Third gear, idle. Looking at the axle now. I don't know. Okay, shut it up. So maybe the uh, the right side CV axle was a bit wobbly, but uh, I don't see that you know being damaged. No. I'm gonna watch the oil as it comes out. You wanna catch it with something? No, I'm just gonna look at it. Whoa! Not too bad, I'd say. Looks like oil. That's hot. Subaru filter. Is it? Eco Guard. Is that a Subaru filter? What? No, it should say Subaru, right? That's it. Eco Guard. Made in China. Okay, yeah, not Subaru. It's a fun spot for an oil filter. Let that drain a bit. You don't have all day. Now we're gonna drain the oil in the rear diff this just takes a half inch ratchet start with the fill plug gently get it open okay Actually, I'm going to check the level, just for fun. Now we got oil. Which is always a good sign. Actually, I'm going to close it now. I should maybe get a rag or two.
a clean oil pan. Not too bad, I must say. Don't forget to clean your magnet. No, it's good enough. All right, this one we're gonna let drain for a long while. This is thick oil, after all. So this is pretty normal, as long as you don't see big chunks in your diffs, you are fine. All right, so while that drains, I'm just gonna clean up around the shop a bit. What is that? Man, that guy that was buffing the light left a mess. Must have been exciting. Put this back. Cork it down. Okay, it's good torque right there. And I'm gonna put in mobile one seventy five ninety. Just clean this up a bit. Right. You know, not many people know this, but excuse me. Ugh. But there's actual oil inside these differentials that you need to change. You know, once in a while. You know, spread the word, guys. Let people know. Excuse me, sorry. Oh. My goodness. Look at that. Was it Taco Tuesday yesterday or what? Gotta get a pump. So basically you're draining oil and then refilling it until it comes out just like that. Very simple. And then you just plug it in. What was that? Alright, so torque is the same on both plugs. I'll let you know when. Uh, right about there. Was it, was it five quarts? Four and a half? Five? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 